We're joined by Shane Jennings, Ireland player, Leinster legend, uh, played a little bit with Leicester, three Heineken Cup medals, I, I believe. Three, three, yes, yeah. yeah. Congratulations on the rugby career so far. Yeah. It's been brilliant. <laughs> I, I shared some of it with you. and um, But you've recently announced the retirement. And yeah. a big decision, was it something? Because like, physically, you know, you're know, you reasonably good shape for a lad of, of your dotage. Yeah, I might look I might look all right shape, but I don't feel it. Uh, <laughs> I think you probably uh, you probably changed that for a lot of people. For a guy of your age, playing your position for so long, that there's not a bump or a scratch in you. So I certainly not <laughs> Short like that. Short and squat helped. <laughs> I'm certainly not like that. So uh, yeah, it was a tough decision to make, but uh, I'm glad I made it. I made it for the right reasons. and. Um, I'm looking forward to life after rugby. Talk to you about your, your Irish career. You, I feel you didn't get as many caps as you deserved. There, there was, unfortunately, Ireland has an embarrassment of riches over the time in back row players. I, I think you should have more opportunity. You got to go in the 2011 World Cup with the World Cup coming around. Like, you know, World Cups are a fantastic occasion and yeah, being a squad, maybe you could just tell, you know, just what it meant to Playing for Ireland's great, but being in something like that was on the world stage, it really is something special, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, and I think we were very fortunate that it was in New Zealand and you know the country put put on an unbelievable show for us. Everywhere we went, we were we were probably the second favourite team in New Zealand, you know, and after beating Australia and Auckland, the whole country got behind us as well. And I think just the goodwill around the country from volunteers helping out and every town we went to, they welcomed us with open arms and you know, we had a bit of fun about it as well. We, we went a few days early and we kind of uh, acclimatised slash drunk together. <laughs> and uh, we got to know each other, you know, and um, it was brilliant. It was really, really good. And, you know, thankfully we went well in it. To represent your country, to represent, you know, your nation when you're in a, in a foreign country is pretty special. And, you know, I think we did pretty well. And I think there's a few guys that were in that last World Cup are going to go to this one and they can hopefully learn from that and you know the things we did right there that they'll hopefully bring in and influence the younger lads that haven't been in a World Cup before and you know it's very exciting for everybody in Ireland because I think we're all agreeing that there's a massive opportunity for Ireland opportunity. this year. Yeah. yeah, You can't really talk about anything to do with Ireland without mentioning Joe Smith mm -hmm. at the moment and you had a good few years with him with Leinster mm -hmm. and he obviously had massive massive effect there and made a huge impression on the players and it was talking to guys the enthusiasm that they talked about and like the way that he constantly challenged them. and has that continued up with Ireland is he still doing that yeah um I believe it has yeah I was only in the Irish squad in his kind of early days but uh even when he was with Leinster as he evolved over the the couple of years he was there I think that's one of his qualities and it is being able to challenge guys who are probably the more senior members like the likes of Paulie and uh, for a guy who's been around and who's had a lot of success how he's kind of been invigorated and challenged and kind of tested at a new level as well and um, I think if you can do that to the older guys their their behaviours are going to influence the others and I think they've got a good balance there they've got some really good leaders they've got some nice young talent as well and I think being able to be coached by a guy like Joe Les is very good, they've got good backroom staff and their strength and conditioning and their video analysis and things like that. So they've got a very good team there. More importantly than any of this now what we've talked about, <laughs> are we going to see you in the Ireland-England Legends game and maybe a few other trips around well, if I get the, the classic circuit? If I get the invitations, uh, I will gladly accept them, yeah. So, uh, no, I think, I think the fortunate thing that I'm realising now is that we have a good network of people that we've played with and haven't you played in England, I've played in England, you know, that experience I think will hold to us and that will hold to me moving forward because you do, you, you make friends for life yeah. and it doesn't stop when you just stop playing, you know, you've got these people and I'm certainly looking forward to socialising with them and if that involves playing a bit of great rugby or classics rugby, classic, uh, classic uh, rugby. I'll, I'll gladly jump on board, yeah. So. Well, I'll, I'll put a good word in for you. Shane, listen, thanks Cheers, very much. Thanks, Good talking.